Okay, so this is for Elliot and Graham. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elliot and Graham. Who knows? Look up.
I yet again had another video planned for you all for this week. Um, but under the given circumstances of today, which I will get into in a bit, I just didn't feel it appropriate to post my normal style video today. Um, so today is an interesting day. <laughs> it's a day of um, many mixed emotions. It's a day, it's um, January 23rd, 2024, my son's third birthday. Um, so we are so thankful to God for three years of life with our little firecracker of a son. Um, thankful for his good health, thankful for his presence in our lives. Um, yeah, we're just celebrating his life today and that is very joyous. Um, but on the flip side of that, today is also a day where we heard the news that um, some dear, dear friends of ours from many years ago um, were killed in a house fire um, last night, in the middle of the night. Um, the father, Mark Robinette, got his wife and some of his children out of the house um, and he went back into the house, um, the rapidly burning house, and tried to retrieve two of his other sons, and they did not make it out. Um, I cannot imagine the grief that this family is going through right now. My heart just absolutely breaks. For them and aches for them. Um, there's so many things <laughs> that I could say, but um, yeah, I guess just with the news of this going on, and honestly, this week I've just felt a little heavy thinking about everything that's going on in the Middle East um, and just the heaviness of all of the killing and the turmoil that's going on. Um, I guess I've just felt a little bit at a loss um, of what to say and it's almost felt inappropriate, especially with this news of our dear friends. It's felt inappropriate to just go on my merry way and post a recipe video when there's so much hurt and so much aching um, going on right now um, in the world at large and also with people that we deeply care about. You know, I just keep looking at my son um, who's so young and at the beginning of his life, and I keep thinking to myself, you know, what if it was him? <laughs> what if it was our house that was burning down? And what if it was my husband <clears throat> that ran inside to try to save our son and lost his life? And um, what if it was me as a mother? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> what if it was me as a mother who had just lost my husband and my son? I cannot even imagine um, the pain and the anguish that the family must be going through. And so I guess I'm sharing all of this um, largely to ask you all to be praying for the Robinette family, pray for Andrea, the mother, and her remaining children. 
um, for their whole church community, Foundation Church. Um, they're such a tight-knit, beautiful community. The father was a pastor. Mark Robinette was a pastor of Foundation Church, and he just did so much for the Lord. He had incredible testimony. He was so zealous for the Lord and for helping others and for being a light in this broken, um, broken world. And yeah, so an incredible light for Jesus on this earth has gone out. The beautiful thing is I know that the impact that he had on his church family and his wife and his children um, has created, you know, even though his light has gone out, there are so many other lights, so many lives and lights within those lives that have been lit up that I believe will continue to go on and um, share and shine their light for Jesus and for the sake of the gospel. But still is an incredible, incredible loss. Um, just immense tragedy that I honestly cannot even wrap my mind all the way around. Um, you know, when things like this happen, tragedies that are just so immense that we can't understand why we could never be able to come up with a good reason why something like this would happen. Um, something that's so far out of our understanding. Um, it just reminds me that it is so important to have a grateful heart for what we do have and realize that the only thing that we do have right now, the only thing that we're promised is this present moment. And it just makes me realize the importance of not taking this present moment that I'm living in this present state of being for granted and not, you know, living my life trying to power through to the next season that I'm longing for because I'm not promised, you know, we're not promised the next season, we're not promised tomorrow. All we have is today and I just keep thinking of the question like, what are you going to do with today? What are you going to do with this present moment that you have been gifted? Um, and are we going to be good stewards of what we have? Um, I know that Mark Robinette was a very, very good steward of the days that he had on this earth. And I know that when he entered into heaven with his two sons at his side and he met Jesus, I know that he said, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Um, and we can take comfort in the fact that he is where he wanted to be. I heard a testament um, of one of his daughters that what he wanted more than anything else was just to be with Jesus. And he got that desire. You know, it's tragically sad for those of us here still on earth that are without them now. Um, but what an incredible comfort to know that they are in a better place, um, that they are in perfected bodies right now, the pain that they went through in their death um, was all made right and um, completely ended as they were ushered into eternity with their creator that loves them so much. I have been inspired by his life and his testimony. Um, and his legacy, and I know that it will live on um, in the hearts of those in his church, and they will continue to share about what the Lord did in his life. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that and 
kind of just let you guys know why yet again this is more of a talking video than an instructional cooking video. Um, thank you guys for understanding and I hope this message finds you well. I hope that you are inspired to be grateful for this day that the Lord has made and that you have been gifted with. Um, I hope you are inspired to go love on the people that are in your life, whether family or friends. Um, it also has all just reminded me how important it is to let people know <laughs> that you love them and to not take the people in our lives for granted. Um, because you just never know how long you have someone for. I don't really know a great way to button this video up and bring it to a close, but I do just want to quickly say um, thank you so much to everybody for the love and support and amazingly sweet comments on my previous video that I posted. They mean so much to me and I know there are a lot of new subscribers, um, which I greatly appreciate. So I am praying for you guys. I am praying that the Lord draws you close to himself and, um, and I pray that you remember that you are seen, you are valued, and you are worthy of love because you are made in the image of our creator. God bless you guys, and we'll talk soon.